don't know, Sam. I tell you, I don't know. Quit stalling me, Angel. You got what I'm after, you're gonna pass it on. Or would you like me to spread a little of this downtown? I'm telling you the truth. Why won't you listen to me? How about Thursby listen? Like Galloway. Oh, yes, and what about your husband? Let's not forget about poor Giles. I bet you gave him half a chance, too. How do I know this? That's what you're thinking. Well, I don't. But you know me, I like asking awkward questions. Sam, don't. Oh, don't stop me now, Angel. I haven't even started yet. You ought to see me when I'm feeling really conscientious. Now, I may not be too often, and before these past few days, hardly at all. Well, you've got quite a gift for changing men. He never meant anything to me. Who? Giles? Your husband? You see how confusing this all gets? And don't tell me you made it easier for you to get someone else to do your dirty work, because I'm going to find that one a little hard to believe. You're mad at me, Sam. I understand that. But please, you got to believe me. When Galloway saw me for the first time, the whole business was already out of hand. They forced me. Don't you see? Go on. Thursby knew all along that Galloway was going to be trouble. He planned it, Sam, the whole thing. Giles, too? No, not Giles. Keep going. When I first came to you, I knew none of this. Giles wasn't there at first. That was all true. I was frightened and desperate when I came to you. Surely you can remember that. I still had some money, and I thought I could use it to get back at Galloway. I wanted to harm him. So you hired Thursby? No, that was Giles. Well, now you're losing me. Who hired Thursby? Giles. Wasn't it? Oh, you're cute. You almost have me believing you, too. Galloway knew where to find Thursby, but he didn't know where to find Giles. He knew because you told him. No, Sam. No, Sam. Yes, Sam. You gotta believe me, Sam. But it is true, I tell you. Well, I'm through listening to you. Oh, you look good. Good enough to eat. You'd let me, too, wouldn't you? Right now, like this, you wouldn't stop me. I couldn't stop you, Sam. You know how I feel about you. Sit down. Sam? I said sit down. What are you doing? Sam! Hello, District Attorney's Office. Get me Detective Marahan. Yeah. Tell him I've got a Mrs. Dana Pendleton needs to talk to him. Sam Spade. He knows my address. Pendleton, that's right. Goodbye. I can't let you do this, Sam. You want a drink? They're gonna be a little while. Where were we? Oh, yes, it was Tuesday. You stepped into my office. You're torturing me. You stepped into my office, making sure that Galloway saw you, of course, because that was important, wasn't it? You didn't know if I could find Giles or not. Make it quicker for you if I did, but that didn't matter a whole lot by then. Only Giles wasn't running. That was the only part you couldn't control. Giles got to Thursby first. You started getting scared. Then Galloway takes a pot at me. It all started to get a little too hot for poor, helpless Dana. You're going to have to do something about it. So you hit Giles, far enough away to convince me, but close enough for Galloway to get to him first. Oh, I'd stay if I were you. You might want to hear this. Are you sure about that drink? Well, now. I didn't want to do this, Sam. You forced me. Well, that goes without saying. I'll be here in a minute. Go on. Run. I wouldn't stop you. Are you going to shoot me, too? I'm sorry, Sam. You know too much. Here. I'll make it easy for you. Nice and quick in the back of the neck. I won't even know what hit me. Not like Giles. He knew, all right. I saw that look on his face when I got there. What was left of his face once Galloway had finished with him. Must have been a handsome man, your husband. Used the poker on him, see? Shut up! Tied his hands behind his back. Probably started on his legs first so he couldn't get away. Then he rolled him in the carpet to soak up the blood. <laughs> Giles could have been all right! I didn't mean for him to come to any harm. That's why I hired you. Oh, it's a little too late for that, darling. You can tell your story to the judge. He's never heard before how you've been persecuted, how you couldn't stop yourself from taking Giles' money for your own protection. He'll give you all the chances you didn't give those two men. Or was it three if you count Galloway? Somebody shot him. Looks like I had a lucky escape just now. Take out your purse. Go on. Open it. I don't need to see what's inside. I'll just take three of those hundred dollar bills for my inconvenience. Oh, there's a nasty hole in the wall over there. Better make it four. Would it be all too much? ask for your help. Even if I never meant anything to you, there's a lot of money in this, Sam, for both of us. Why can't we make something out of all this? I'm not a killer. I... Oh. What's the use? You know, for the first time, I feel sorry for you. Really sorry. Bye, darling.